Oh, Ellen. Oh boy, welcome to season 18 of the Ellen DeGeneres Show. Oh. Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. Don't stare at the sun. <laughs> Don't. It's hard not to because it's there every single day. It wakes you up and uh, there it is right before you, just sitting up there in the sky saying, hey, look at me. I make up 99.86% of the mass in the solar system. How far you have fallen? What is up, friendships? My name is Joe. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, if you have been here before, how are you doing? So today we are going to be talking about Ellen DeGeneres and her BS apology. Because let's be honest, it, it wasn't an apology. Now, if you aren't aware, I don't know what rock you've been living under, but does it have space for me? Around the beginning time of quarantine, Ellen began to come under fire after a comedian named Kevin T. Porter tweeted out this tweet. Right now, we all need a little kindness. You know, like Ellen DeGeneres always talks about. She's also notoriously one of the meanest people alive. Respond to this with the most insane stories you've heard about Ellen being mean, and I'll match everyone with $2 to at LA Food Bank. With over 1,000 replies to this Twitter feed, it, it is a really good way to raise money, I will give him that. With over 1,000 replies to this tweet ranging from people having to chew gum before they go into her office because she doesn't like the way people's breasts smell, etc, 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 to people not being able to look at her when they pass her in the hallways, to waitresses having chipped nail polish serving her food, etc, 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 people being fired for taking personal time, etc, 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 people smelling not good, etc, etc, etc. So now Ellen has the reputation of being a monster celebrity, which is kind of ironic seeing as she has built her entire career on her slogan, Be Kind. And like just really quick, because this happened at the beginning of the quarantine and when Ellen had to do her show from her home and she had her producer Andy just kind of lurking outside of her house, like in her yard laughing at her jokes like he was talking at her through the phone, that was, that was some serial killer weird stuff. Today, I decided I'm going to try to make my house a little more like the studio. I have Andy. Andy is wandering around back there. I'm here now. Outside of the phone. Are you listening to me? That's yeah. That's strange. Okay. okay. That's, that's new. Um. So now that Hollywood is allowed back into their studios, such not and what have you, Ellen decided that she wanted to come back and be Ellen DeGeneres again, which is quite surprising. Some people thought that actually she wouldn't be coming back me being one of those people. However, she did decide to come back and in doing that, having to issue an apology. Let's go over that right now. She starts her apology with jokes. Literally every 30 seconds, she throws in a joke. You don't believe me? I timed it. Literally, the longest time that this woman goes without making a joke in her apology for these very serious allegations of workplace harassment was 1 minute and 12 seconds. 1 minute and 12 seconds. That's the longest you could go without making a joke? Is this funny to you? Going along with these jokes, she has a laugh track. How do we know it's a laugh track, you ask? I thought there were more ways to make this feel like my studio, so uh, I have this. I had them send me this, and it's a sound effects box, and it's either gonna make me feel like I'm back in the studio or make me sound like a 90s radio DJ. I have, I have this. <laughs> oh boy, I missed that sound. Because she has a virtual audience, you really think that the audio from every single person in that vir virtual audience was being broadcast out into her studio? Hell no! She put it in there. I bet you feel right at home now, Ellen. She then proceeds to joke about her virtual audience's smell. You look beautiful and I'm sure you smell great. That's what I'm imagining anyway. <laughs> 
which is just in such poor taste. This whole thing just, which is quite funny because even when she was at home, she couldn't help but make these comments about the way people smell. I also miss the tangy smell of my cue card guy. Rambling on through her terrible apology, she continues to make just poor jokes, just terrible, just awful jokes. Like this one. I am Ellen DeGeneres. My name is there. My name is there. My name is on underwear. <laughs> Her name's on my underwear. <gasps> now, the reason that this apology is no apology at all is because she didn't actually address any sort of allegations that were made against her or her staff throughout the entire summer. She just kind of put it off and joked about it and pushed it to the side and kind of blamed everybody else for it. And even mentions that there's an investigation going on within her show. Um, as you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. And then there was an investigation. But we'll get to that in a little bit. The patient's bit. I am a work in progress, and I'm especially working on the impatience thing because, and it's not going well, because it's not happening fast enough, I will tell you that. Really? I mean, like, you're just being rumored to be, like, the most impatient and terrible person in all of Hollywood, but I mean, like, um, go ahead and joke about it if you really want to. How hard are you working on that again? I don't know. I, I'm a talk show host and you know that, but I, maybe some of you know that, you know, I was an actress. I've played a straight woman in movies, so I'm a pretty good actress. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But I don't think that I'm that good that I could come out here every day for 17 years and fool you. That's like me saying, I played Mercutio and Rosaline in high school plays, so I'm a pretty good actress. I don't think I can fool people. Wherefore art thou common sense, cause thou art not here. And then we get to the part of the apology where she seems to try to be more serious. And my intention is to always be the best person I can be. And if I've ever let someone down, if I've ever hurt their feelings, I am so sorry for that. If that's ever the case, I let myself down and I've hurt myself as well because I always try to grow as a person. I look at everything that comes into my life as an opportunity to learn. I got into this business to make people laugh and feel good. That's, that's my favorite thing to do. Bad and Jenga and then finishes it up with Jenga. How out of touch can you possibly be to say those things, to know what you're trying to address and apologize for, and then go to bloody fecking Jenga? This has been a horrible summer for people all around the world. People are losing their jobs. People are losing their jobs. It's a terrible time in the world right now, but not your staff, right, Ellen? Your staff got to keep their jobs. They just got a 60% pay cut without you actually letting them know about it beforehand. So that was the end of her addressing her apology. She then introduces Twitch as her new executive producer. What she fails to mention is that he got that promotion because of the investigation that was going on internally with the Ellen, De De with the Ellen DeGeneres show that had the three top executive producers fired for allegations of sexual misconduct. Now this really isn't anything that pertains to any sort of substance of the video. However, I did find it really, really weird and I do have to note how far away Ellen and Twitch were sitting on the stage. Did anybody else notice that? The aesthetic just felt so weird to me, especially since it was it was supposed to be like, hey, we're back and it's, it's a place of love. It's all love. It's all love. I'm so excited for this season. It's, it's all, all love. Yeah. That's, that's all that's real is love. Absolutely. That's the truth. Maybe you don't like the way Twitch smells? 
Maybe that's why he's 15 feet away from you? She also does not neglect to mention over and over and over again that Twitch's DJ equipment this entire time has been fake. And unfortunately, I had to take the fake DJ equipment away. That's okay. You got nothing there now to <laughs> pretend like you're a DJ. Yeah, exactly. A DJ can actually use that now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was fake anyway. Completely discrediting him as her DJ. I'm just saying that seemed a little sus to me. And like even her face when Twitch is trying to talk about his side of their summer and, and everything. Like look at her stupid face. I'm just so excited to be back here in the studio so we can do what we do best, which is bring laughter, love, and fun, right? And also lead by example. Honestly, I'm really disappointed in Ellen. I was such a huge fan for such a long time. I can always, I can remember coming home from school and, you know, Ellen being on TV. I remember every day at work, the radio station I would listen to would have uh, the Ellen hour at lunchtime to have a daily pick me up or whatever. And it, it just, it was such a, she put out such an air of positivity and happiness and la 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 la, and to find out that it's all fake is kind of crushing. And to be honest, this is not the first time that I've had my Ellen DeGeneres illusion a little, a little shaken, if you know what I'm saying. Quite a few years ago, my mom was in Las Vegas. She actually saw Ellen and she was doing a recording. My mom told me that literally every time the camera was off, Ellen would just like turn away from the camera, not acknowledge anybody, not talk to anybody. And I didn't want to believe that. I was like, no mom, you don't know what you're talking about. It's just Ellen. Maybe she was having a bad day. Maybe this, maybe that, maybe, maybe she wasn't allowed to. I was so on the Ellen train. I wanted to believe that she was the person that she said she was, but sadly we all have to grow up and learn there is no Santa Claus at some point or another. <sighs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyway, friendships, that is all I have to say about this subject matter. I'll be back again soon to talk about something else random. I don't know, something else that tickles my fancy. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like it, give me a comment, let me know what you guys think about Ellen, and subscribe because it gives me warm fuzzy feelings on the inside and I need warm fuzzy feelings on the inside because I'm no longer getting them from Ellen. Apparently nobody was in real life. Hot. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I have a real good time on both of those things. And I will see you guys next time.